It's Tabletop Time! I'm Jazza. I'm Jen. I'm Murray. I'm Al. I'm Dave, the GM of our Pokemon adventure. But of course, you would know that because you're watching episode 17. It Whoa. is time for me to give a brief little recap of what happened last week because some very important things happened last week. Mostly uh, drinking pina coladas and begging for Pokemon Center people to heal you. Isn't that right, Brad? <laughs> what? I don't, I, I'm too proud to do something that embarrassing. <laughs> and getting judged for eating habits. <laughs> so our party finally got that big rest they've been waiting for and then also have headed back out east. And they're heading out east to encounter some Pokemon. Arden is in tow uh, and they're going out to find out what it is that's causing all the psychic Pokemon to have awful headaches and feel really sad uh, towards the east. But you know what's causing all of your future D&D &D games to be high quality and super interactive and fun? This video's sponsor, RPG Stories VTT. So this is the biggest 3D world builder out there and it supports games such as D&D, &D, Pathfinder, Call of Cthulhu, Blade Runner, Walking Dead, really anything you'd want to tackle. The team has already fulfilled every promise they had from their previous Kickstarter and more. And it's also been released on Steam. Yay! You can get it and play it right now. And it has positive reviews. Hooray! <laughs> Honestly, it's so, so much. Cool. Like 6,000 plus 3D models, assets, and equally supporting fantasy, modern, sci-fi, and loads more. And catering to much more automatic sort of build styles to make it all easy for you. And of course, all the way to the super nitty gritty to people who really want the granular detail control over their virtual tabletop. They even feature built-in support for Hero Forge and quest writing tools. It also has all the existing VTT features you could want, such as camera system, DM controls, and fog of war. I could use that tonight. There's more features in the already released RPG Stories VTT than we can cover in this read. Suffice it to say, you can check that out now, but what's coming is even more exciting. And that's with their new expansion, Wrath of Devs, which includes new features such as character sheets for your favorite games, procedurally generated scenes, brand new themed models for a range of new environments, and advanced GM controls. Focusing on theatrical Tricality, which totally suits us at the role play table. <laughs> 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 Love that. At the end of the day, they've already delivered on a massive Kickstarter and made a lot of people happy and delivered a successful game. So you know you can trust them to take it even further. So go check out the Kickstarter pre launch page. And if you're curious about it and you're not quite sure, there's an already released virtual tabletop with massive feature set. You can go check out now and, uh, you know, whet your appetite for everything that they have cooking in the Wrath of Devs. So go check out those links in the description while we... Enjoy a roleplay episode from the radio booth in 1920. <laughs> Type of transatlantic radio accent. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, went to add the audience and I pressed the wrong button. This is why Jazza should not be in charge of the buttons. Yeah. No, it's why you should be. If I, were, <laughs> if I could do split focus better, I'd be like, GM should have buttons. <laughs> GM should have buttons. Uh, but unfortunately, I get flushed too easily, so. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You get sorry. that. That's okay. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. <laughs> you have a button. The most important one. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are we all ready to pick up where we so left off? Ready. Yeah. Adventurous gang. Who was in the lead? It was me. Still Melanie. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, beat you got up. followed by a shield on. Yeah, and I beat up a Pokemon. I can't remember which one it was. But I beat you got followed by a shield on. Mm -hmm. It was a tyrant. And then you got in a yes. battle with a tyrant. Yes. Ooh, does that and mean it then changes to Victor? And you didn't catch it, you just bashed it. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yep, yeah. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. And you got Apple your experience. And, Apple leveled up. And you all got your experience last week, right? Yeah. At the correct. end of the episode. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Onwards. So it's now. Hey, yeah, who's in charge now? It's not me. Who's in the lead? I think it's Victor. Uh, you also have the option to let Arden take the lead if you want to. Ooh. I think you wanted two to get into a fight. Yeah, yeah I wanted to You've had your fight, yeah. so you yeah. now yeah. swap. But yeah. anyone, you, whoever's next can take it, yes. or you yeah. can let Arden take it. It's up to you. Oh, I want to see what our, our, our yeah. new friend is, is all about. I agree. So, Arden, if, if you wouldn't mind, you are welcome to lead on. Ah, uh, no worries. I'll take the lead. Everyone stay behind me. Stay safe. 
Okie dokie. And Arden starts to lead the way for once, not poking around in his notebooks or playing with his tools and actually walking. I just want a better chance to like look at his gorgeous Pokemon. Yeah. As, <laughs> as you journey uh, northward, you travel through a patch of long grass. Uh-uh. There are no wild Pokemon. I encounters. thought we'd get out of those bloody rolls with Arden in the lead. Well, Arden's the one taking taking the rolls. Uh, that's true. Uh, and you continue to journey uphill, and as you do, as this sort of uh, savanna esque area starts to turn into forest again, you can see this thick smog. This fog is creeping in around the bottom. It almost looks like dry ice from Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Uh, floating around oh. the bottom. That was a deep cut. Uh, floating around the bottom of the ground. Uh, it's just got that eerie vibe slowly creeping in, mm. making things feel a little bit uncomfortable well, as I you feel move into the woods. Well, a little bit uncomfortable right now. I have my rolls out as well, just to keep an eye on. My cutie. I'm got. Can I get you to make an empathy check? Okay. Uh, as you sort of walk around with cutie. Cutie's your rolls, yes? Yeah. Cool. Very good. Because it has great a cutie. <laughs> make a cutie check. Yeah. I like our cutie checks. We yeah, only two. You can see that uh, cutie is starting to feel a little bit distressed and is like mm. pulling pulling into itself a little bit because uh, Roltz always has the gait of sort of like I always imagine Roltz walking like maybe like a one year old toddler with oversized pajamas on just sort of like <laughs> like walking because it's, it's got that vibe to it yeah, yeah. so he's kind of walking in like a little stumble and arms pulled in a little bit to the <laughs> chest and like okay. darting its eyes around do you want to go back in the bowl or are you okay Make a mind check for your uh, cutie challenge level three. For mind. Your so this so will be, use... No, no, cuties. Uh, cuties mind. Oh. So just roll, just roll, roll your mind stat. Oh, so. Uh, two? Oh, wow. It's it's okay. Well, I said challenge. I'll make a challenge level two because it can't even get three, but it needs yeah. two successes. Okay. Okay. No. One success. One. Uh, cutie gives a few. Uh, a few nods, but also gives you the indication that, like, it will soldier on. It doesn't have to, but it does okay. feel uncomfortable. Okay. I would, like, hold its little hand as we go along. <laughs> I just have to, like, kind of squat down because yeah. it's too small. Make, make, a, oh goodness, make another empathy check. No, no, no. This is a check to re- fix it, basically, to resolve the fear, Aww. to reinforce. Uh, a challenge level will be, this time it will be three because it okay. failed by one. Okay. Be one okay. harder. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, two, two again. successes. Okay. So it's still scared, but re- yeah. reassured, but still afraid and yeah. frightened and, and a little bit cagey around the situation. Yeah. Uh, did we get a beautiful cameo from Cutie? Yeah, she's right there. There we go. <laughs> Super pajamas Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah totally. Aww. All right, so as you head on, there's another thick patch of grass and Arden moves through it. Again, Pokemon seem to be staying clear. And uh, Arden is currently walking around uh, with sort of led by this Arcanine, which is giving this sense of majesty uh, to the area around this huge Pokemon compared to all of your Pokemon. Arcanines are massive. This guy's Pokemon um, is so cool. Just like looking left to right with a, a sense of that um, power and majesty to it. And you continue to walk through. As the trek starts to get a little bit treacherous, can I get you all to make a group... I'm going to say a group survival check, which will be... I want to use. (laughs) I'm going to say it's going to be your coordination because you can't see your feet and there are roots. So uh, basically I'll get one person to roll it. The challenge level is going to be four. You get to add three dice because there's three people. So whoever's rolling gets three extra dice. Do you have to be coordinated to contribute to Mm -hmm. that? (laughs) <laughs> no, not in this instance. All right. I mean, given that you're, you're, the additional difficulty you're giving is you're only giving half of the difficulty. Yeah. Well, I'm probably right behind Arden. Mm-hmm. So, and like a bit of range, I can probably try and help the rest of the group uh, 
find a path if not so do you like to make be the be the yeah, dice roll yeah, I, can, okay. I can be the so you get three the extra person. dice but you're looking for four successes okay because you sort of there's these vines in the ground and you can't see and your yeah. feet are snagging. I'm totally picturing like the anime group in like a Pokemon episode, like navigating <laughs> and Brad's at the back, like yeah, yeah. Look, look, <laughs> Kong, I'm helping. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Very good. Very nice. There we go. That was get? seven out of Five, eight six? successes. Seven. Mm. Well, <laughs> and a accomplished nice. Pokemon Ranger, Victor, you wow. managed to navigate the group despite the lack of vision through this area where it's getting increasingly tough, which is a good thing because as the maze of trees starts to get thicker, you avoid being split up and you see a few instances where like short tumbles and trips would have dropped down into a little valley and then you would have very easily scattered and started to spread around. Mm -hmm. But you successfully navigate away from that. But doing so means you move through another patch of grass. Oh. Still no Pokemon encounter. It's critical mm. fail, right? Not critical success. Yeah, it's critical yeah. fail. Yeah. Hey, Arden, how long have you been with Arcanine? Oh, almost as long as I've been with Pokemon. Really? Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Not, not too much longer. It wasn't my first Pokemon, but a second caught, actually. Uh, although caught is rather a strange term for it. We bonded. Mm. As I, I've seen Fantastic. some of you with that kind of relationship. Uh, is it? Just me or... Is anyone else... And Arden puts his hand to the back of his neck and just sort of seems to be just softly rubbing the back of his neck. The hairs on the back of your neck standing up. Anyone? Oh, it's... Maybe a little bit? I, yeah, I used to be like that if I thought there was a spider around, but I'm desensitized. I say, like, patting. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a mind check... So just rolling the mind stat of each of your active Pokemon that's out and exploring. Can we only have one active yes. at a time? What if, for some reason. What you if your Pokemon have doesn't have a card yet? What one's your Pokemon? Plottle. Plottle has a card. Does he? Plottle, uh, I gave you Plottle's card. Uh, yeah, I think we've had this conversation. <laughs> no, Plottle doesn't have a card. The new eggy one. Plottle definitely has a card. I, I've never received a card. Oh, she didn't. Last okay, time. I'll have to print it. This whole Sorry. conversation, she couldn't use Plottle because she didn't have a card. Okay. And you're like, ah, oh, it's a, it's a baby. Uh, can't find. I, I'm. Uh, That's right. Well, I should have printed that on is my he, printed ones. Is he level one or level two? Level uh, one, right? He's level one, but he's actually tier three. It's kind of complicated. Oh, okay. We'll yeah. probably have two. Yeah. Can then, I say two? Right? Is that fair? Mind. I can. Uh, n no, he probably doesn't. Okay, one. He's probably got one mind. Okay, that's but fine. He's, you're using him as your active yeah. Pokemon, even though you can't battle with him because yeah, you don't have rules. That's fine. Oh, should I not? You should I... probably have a different active Pokemon now, given that you can't battle. Okay, I bring out a second Pokemon because I have no Yeah, Plottle doesn't count. Him. We've okay, covered that. Plottle right. isn't your Pokemon. Yeah, fair, fair. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> Who are you going with? A Yasa? Pyroweb. Pyroweb. All right, mind check. All righty. Challenge level. Don't be the lowest. Okay. Wow. Uh, oh, no. Good. <laughs> Love that. I'm just going to roll and tell you what it is. I got three. Very good. Oh, the camera stopped working. Very good. Wait. And we're hey. back. Okay. Nice. I got three. It'll take a magic trick. Do you have dice? No. Actually, All right. Who's next? Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, how do I change I got thing? zero. Zero successes for poor cutie who has been scared already. Oh. All right. Uh, I've got four for Numbush. Uno. Still baby. One success. Three for Lotto Lie. Two. Two. As you're walking along, you start to, off the corner of your perception, start to hear these sort of noises. It's very almost like comical, but like fake spooky noises. A ghost. Brad, it's okay. It's, it's, you can hold our hand if you want. And then you hear a. <laughs> All right, you're not holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> can I get, uh, I'll get <clears throat> oh, no. Stormy to make no. a uh, acuity check. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, I can roll. Challenge level on this one's only two. This time. Come on. Come on. Oops. 
You're on five for five. Hello. Stormy, at the sound, you're the only one because so the sound is sort of echoing through this fog and everything, making it very difficult to uh, navigate and to know exactly where sounds are coming from. And as you hear that sound and turn, you snap your attention towards Cutie. And just for a split second, you see eyes big eyes and a purple <gasps> cloud of smog only Q- uh, only stormy sees this behind oh. cutie behind <gasps> cutie and cutie has those three anime lines on, <laughs> on it and like is slightly <laughs> vibrating with like extra lines drawn outside the body going like it's okay cutie it's okay and cutie falls over backwards like a plank like a solid plank just goes like onto the ground and is like vibrating slightly as if petrified Oh, what happened to your Pokemon? <laughs> There's Just a weird around. ghosty thing. Can I can I go and and Stormy's gonna try and do CPR? <laughs> try to stand it up again. <laughs> <laughs> so you just like poke its little chest. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> just do anything. Cutie is definitely alive. Okay. Cutie is just <laughs> paralyzed, but not the condition <gasps> paralyzed, like petrified, like oh, it's a stone. okay. I'm. Stormy's gonna put her body over it and look out for the ghost thing. So you reckon you saw a ghost, Stormy? Yeah, it's like a purple ghost thing oh. with big eyes. That does sound like a ghost Pokemon. <laughs> wait, wait! I like wave my Pokedex <laughs> to the darkness and I like press <laughs> buttons, like to see if I catch it. I'm like a ghost hunter. You've got the the right. It just keeps on roll for it. <laughs> it just keeps beeping at this stage. Without without anything to look at, it's just like boop, boop, no Pokemon, boop, boop, no Pokemon. I oh, should really. Okay, fine. Okay. No po- <laughs> why is oh, it? Yeah. Why is it poo? No poke. Why is it? Poo? No Pokemon. No Pokemon. No Pokemon. <sighs> Pokemon. Pokemon. I don't even know. I'm a Pokédex, <laughs> or am I a Pokédex? <laughs> I think it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that they looked at. <laughs> what do I do? Who's at the front? Uh, uh, Arden. Arden is, okay. yeah. I can remove paralysis. But it's, it's not it's actually... It's not paralyzed. Yeah. And moving on, as you're still, still sort of trudging and carrying the Pokemon, you walk Pokemon. through another patch of particularly long grass. And in this instant, there is the sound of rustling Uh-oh. as a Pokemon bum, bum. charges forth. And we get deeper in the woods, but still foraging and rustling. Rah, tyrant! Another tyrant, angry, raging and snapping. And Arcanine dives forward and squares off against this tyrant. Oh. David and Goliath right there. <laughs> it, it is a bit. And we have... Yeah. Are they going to battle? They they are battling. We don't have Ooh. either Pokemon. But okay. you don't need to... Yeah, we're, okay. it, it's, it's, it's fine. Theodore of the mind. I'm just Theodore? <laughs> Theodore of the mind. <laughs> I am Theodore the of the mind. The great of the mind. <laughs> I shall warp your mind. You play that as like a bard character. Yes. <laughs> Theodore of the mind. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it's pretty it's good. Pretty <gasps> Freaking saving that for Luchavera. <laughs> it's good. I am Theodore time. of the it's mind. Good. I can see him ah, being ah, ah. an obnoxious bard named Theodore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in a hole, it's of the mind. Of the magnificent... <laughs> Who was also a dramatic character that we had at one point. <laughs> Breast his soul. <laughs> and his hair. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's rave, everyone. While the gym. Okay, okay, okay we now I'm, I'm now ready. We can James prepared? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. Jam is now prepared. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the tyrant begins to advance and uh, Arden shouts out uh, Helios! Flamethrower! 
and there's a massive uh, flare of flame that just bursts and pushes fog aside as this blast of fire, hotter than you've ever seen from a Pokemon, shoots forth straight into this Tyrant, maybe. Uh, I should actually roll. What? And it hits the Tyrant very effectively. Ooh. Tyrant takes a bunch of damage. Tyrant charges forward, still out of range of any attacks. Um, that's right, keep it up! And then there's another flamethrower. I need glasses for this. I like popcorn. <laughs> and in two moves, two huge flamethrowers, the Tyrant squeaks, yelps, and faints. Oh, wow. And Pretty then Arden point. walks forward and scruffs the hair and says, Great work, Helios. I think you've deserved a rest. Well, uh, I don't see any more grass up ahead, so uh, which one of you was next in turn to take a lead? Uh, mm. Victor, oh. you've really been great at helping us navigate and coordinate ourselves through this, so I uh, want to keep taking us through. I'm sure all spooked. All's fair in taking turns. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take the lead. Who was meant to be next after? I, I think it was, it was yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, Arden. Ah, oh, you're welcome. My Pokemon is still shaking. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Uh, you, <laughs> you could try putting him back in the ball. He might be a bit more rested in there. Mm. Okay. Might just be all this fog. I'll pat its head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to put you back and you're going to go safe in the bowl. Okay, you retract. And Ralt. I'll take out Kabeem for a bit of light. <laughs> 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 okay, we can continue now. All right, let's go, Numbush. Can I get you to make an acuity check? Oh, acuity check. Sure is spooky out here. Three. Oh, you're rolling hot tonight. Your your roll is less than I would have thought it is for a Pokemon Ranger in Acuity. <laughs> How many points have you got in it? Two. And two in there. <laughs> He's trying to say you prioritized your character sheet poorly. No, I'm just, <laughs> I just did. I thought you'd be like this doing jockey. this, but you're doing this, which, like in the energy. He doesn't have binoculars. Uh, you still rolled well enough with three successes. As you uh, are looking forward and sort of scouting the path out, you see the hills of the forest full of fog wind around and head upwards towards what looks like these weird stone formations that don't seem like natural there's an element of like human hand human craft on them the stones are stacked in a weird way and as your eyes dart between these different things you hear a faint sounds like a cry of help like for help and as your eyes dart between two stones you catch a fleeting image of a boy a small child Maybe about six or seven. Just Victor Caesar. Just Victor Caesar. Thank from goodness. Him. <laughs> yeah. Raise that from my creepy. mind. <laughs> <laughs> creepy pasta yeah. fast. Oh, hold on up, everyone. I think I just saw a person through here. Was it the purple ghost again? Well, I mean, uh, amusingly, I think it was wearing a purple hoodie. Uh, you sure that wasn't what you saw? Definitely not a hoodie. Oh. Well... I don't I like mean, this whole seeing things that other people don't see thing. It's creepy. Hmm. Have you been having your eyes open though, Brad? Well, I... We have recommended the glasses. <laughs> I'm literally like standing up after having tripped over a stick. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. I feel like you're one of his um, characters as well. He like walks like through the yeah. like <laughs> it, it could be a ghost Pokemon playing a bit of, you know, silly buggers, but mm. also I, I don't think I could just in good conscience let, you know a human wander around lost in these woods. Can I, like, can I use charm to sort of, like, uh, sheepishly speak out to whoever might be listening? Yeah. Be like, uh, look, I don't know who it is that's, like, following us and watching us, but we really mean no harm. and We're just trying to solve some problems for some of our friends back home. Cool. Yeah, make a charm check. Can we get you to use... Um no, for this case, yeah, charisma's still fine for this. Okay. Challenge level two. Uh, 
Imagine bouncing a dice out of the box. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. Never. So your intent was to sort of get a reaction. Uh, who's looking at Brad? Brad? Yeah, who's looking at Brad while he speaks? I think we're all probably looking around yeah, for I'm, this. Yeah, I'm probably still looking to see if Scouting I can spot out. The, I'll look at Brad. The kid. Okay, so Stormy, that's funny you should say that. <laughs> as, as Stormy is looking at Brad... Uh, I'm going to get you to make a... This is another weird check because I love making me, people make weird checks. Uh, can I get you to make a resistance and mind? Eee. Mm. I don't like that. <laughs> you could use wisdom as well. That would make sense. So instead it's the same thing. Yeah, no, instead of, instead instead of, of mind. mind. Uh, it doesn't matter. To me. <clears throat> cool. And Sound the three. challenge level... Is one. Okay, come on, dice. Hey. Two. Okay, so you will not be frightened as you look forward <gasps> and as you see Brad talking out to the community behind Brad, suddenly materializing and floating above the back of his head. You see this black <laughs> orb with huge eyes as uh, it's pulled, it, it like sort of its eyes widen and its mouth is flapping, emulating what Brad is saying, like <laughs> like pantomiming it. And then right at the end, it just goes, and Brad, you feel this cold, <laughs> wet lick up the back of your neck. What? Can I shine a beam? Yep. I like see if look the beam goes there and it just it's shines still out, there. and no, there's, it's gone invisible again. She'll just like stand behind Kabeem and just do like a like a lighthouse. And you're at the, the back of your neck is accusingly like <laughs> that was a purple ghost thingy. Ah, it go, 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 ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it also did a funny thing where it made fun of you. Oh, rude. <laughs> rude and gross. <laughs> spooky. You really have an affinity for Pokemon, don't you? Okay. Crush it and battle when the moment presents itself. Well, there's, yeah, you there's, there's that definitely some ghost Pokemon out here, so I'm, I'm just going to, you know, honestly, I think the best way to do with ghost Pokemon is, like, humor them a little bit because, you know, they're little, little pranksters. I once uh, played hide and seek with the Haunter. It, I won, but it, it let me go after three days. But it was a bit of fun. <laughs> anyway, um, the best thing I'm to playing. do is... Uh, <laughs> Hello? Is, is, are you lost? Are you, is anyone out there that isn't a Pokemon? Wink. <laughs> <laughs> anyone? Can I get you... <laughs> can I get you to make a wisdom... Uh, a wisdom... Charm or authority, you can pick your or yeah, pick your social skill, but then I'll it's just okay. pick your up by Uh challenge level two. Three. Three successes. <laughs> the, anyone out there that isn't a Pokemon <laughs> responds uh, between some trees. Is that a Pokemon Ooh. like pretending to be a human? Uh, yes, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I gotcha. Reverse psychology. And then far in the distance ahead where you were looking, you hear a very faint, Help! Wow, that was really accurate. Yeah, considering <laughs> that most Pokemon can't speak English. Well, unless, unless the name, Pokemon yeah, is help. Yeah, right. A rare unknown Pokemon. <laughs> we have seen some pretty rare Pokemon so far. <laughs> I'm gonna catch me a help. Why don't you help you a help? What? Help the help? Help the help. Or defeat it in battle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Whenever we, we enter battle, we should always choose help. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right. Uh, what direction did that come yeah. from? Yeah. <laughs> it head straight up where those weird rocks were where you saw that boy before. All right. Well, I think there's nothing to it. We're either gonna have to we're gonna have to resolve this one way or another. So and it looks like the, the path forwards anyway. It's winding through trees. You yeah. can sort of see is imagine like you're looking ahead, there's forest in between you and the location, but it's on a rise up on a hill, so you can sort of see it through the canopy, but you can't see a clear road to it from where you are. Alright. We're gonna head in this direction, we're gonna see if anyone's there. But again, the worst thing we could do is not make it fun for the little ghost Pokemon. Alright? Alright, let's go. That's good. All right, we're coming to help. <laughs> help. I just love that right now I'm getting the biggest um, 
is it Reese, the 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 New Zealand actor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reese Darby. Yes. 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 And I'm getting the biggest yes. vibes from that from Murray. I'm like, yes. Help. And we're coming yeah. to help. I'm not gonna lie. I did watch nearly a full season of um. Uh, our flag means death. Yes. Yes. I watched on that on the plane. Yes. It was so good. Um, I don't think I'm cut out to be a pirate. <laughs> yes, perfect. I love it. You would have like the eyes. <laughs> pirate. Yeah, I love it. All right, we go. All right, so you advance forward and you push through some canopies and then you quickly find a clearing that has an old rustic looking wood cabin built out of scraps of old driftwood uh, and looks long abandoned covered in cobwebs. Uh, and then there's a, a sort of a short, small rise, maybe three or four meters, where you can sort of go in the forest and walk around, or there's a old wooden ladder up against uh, a rise that will kind of shortcut you up a little bit and allow you to go ahead. Hmm. A ladder. I wonder who put that there. Am I right? <clears throat> right. I what don't, what don't condition is this ladder in? Uh, it, looks, it looks a little bit rickety. It looks a little bit wrecky. You could make an so engineering check if dark. you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, sure I will. I'm just giving it an eyeball. Yeah. Don't worry, Q-beams <laughs> shining Still a light shining. on whatever's yeah. relevant. Yeah, she's using three, her, like, three successes. huge torch. <laughs> from the look of it, from this distance, it looks to be a fairly worn-looking uh, ladder, although it does seem to have had some of the uh, rungs that you imagine were broken. In fact, you can see the debris and detritus of where rungs have broken. It seems to have some of the rungs have been replaced, the ones that have broken. So it looks like it's been somewhat maintained recently. Okay. All right. Well, I think that clearly whoever's here has either used this ladder or wants us to use the ladder. Therefore, we should use the ladder. Why are we doing what this spooky ghost wants us to do? Uh, honestly, to speed things up a bit, it's a bit of fun. Are you having fun, Stormy? Mm, I'm having fun hugging Kabeem. There we go. That's the <laughs> <nice> spirit. <laughs> All right, and again, still the way forwards, so everything's fine. Okay. Plus, the high ground, we'll be able to see a bit better. I'll be brave. So, I'll go first. I'll test the ladder. Okay. Climb the ladder. I'm not confident in our strategy. <laughs> As you climb up the ladder. And the weird ghost again. <laughs> and Come on, Brad. A bit of adventure. <laughs> As you climb, climb the ladder Brad. and you hear the creaking of wood as your feet start to climb up the ladder. Um, and you get sort of halfway up. Make a coordination check, challenge level two. Oh, goodness. Has that coordination just nested? So uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, two. Two successes. You manage to navigate quite well. We're almost at the top of your ladder. Your foot just slides directly through one of the rungs of the ladder, oh. which disappears into a cloud of mist with a... <laughs> as this Pokemon just disappears. Is that you, so, Victor? <laughs> it, it nearly got me there. That was a pretty good one. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I was almost going to remark just how well-maintained and sturdy this ladder actually was. And it was, was, yes, one of the fixed rungs was just the Pokemon pretending to be the rung of the ladder. <laughs> All right, everyone, there is a missing rung here, believe it or not, so just mind your step, and I'm going to proceed up. Why do I feel like Victor is about to start playing hide-and-seek? I can't wait I, here for three days. I do like ghost Pokemon, aren't they fun? Victor, <laughs> you get to the top of this climb and clamber on up. Who's next to go to the ladder? You can do it, Brad. And, <laughs> I believe Brad. <laughs> Brad. As you start to climb the ladder, can I get a, uh, I think, probably reaction okay. check from you? Challenge level two. He's you shaking so much, the whole ladder is <laughs> the just... The entire screaming. ladder eats you. <laughs> you, like, you feel it, like shaking from behind. I got one. one oh, goodness. <laughs> you climb halfway up the ladder, and as he's halfway up the ladder, Stormy and Melanie looking up and watching him climb. So Victor's at the top, sort of looking left and right. Uh, See that with this wet patch? Look up to the, oh. so look up to the ladder. It's raining. <laughs> and at the top of the ladder, 
<laughs> all three of you are, well, actually, Brad is kind of too busy, like, looking at his hands and checking the rungs and doing the classic, <laughs> like, I'm carefully climbing. Uh, looking at the top of the ladder, you see a purple hand materialize on the left, but, like, really, like, and wrap around their purple hand on the other <laughs> edge of the ladder. and lovingly. And then just a sudden <laughs> shove, and you see this ghost materialize. <laughs> And it just pushes the ladder backwards, which crashes onto the ground. <laughs> and with a failed check, Brad, you take one damage oh. as you hit the ground <laughs> and the ladder breaks. Oh. Oh. The ladder. I and you've seen a different Pokemon. <laughs> Brad is being a you Did you, did you, did you, uh, did you use Grit when you got to, did you pick Grit or Knack? You picked Knack, didn't you? Knack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mortally, mortally wounded by this. No, you've prank. just been injured again. You sort of were all good, and now you've bent, twisted your back. You got home alone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. This is a really good game. Oh, no. Ghost Pokemon. <laughs> well, he basically just fell like. Like without any successful reaction, so he was like gripping the ladder really tightly, <laughs> and the ladder just—he was all, all like two thirds up, and it just fell backwards, and he landed on his back on solid rock. So <laughs> that would probably so hurt he was most like people. Just holding it, just holding it, it yeah. in slow motion, <laughs> just thinking like, "What can I do to possibly?" Ow! <laughs> so. And then our heads just like appear over your vision as you got. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's little birds yeah. flying around. <laughs> up the top, however. Looking forward, Victor, alone, Ooh. you see a shaking little... I'm going to get you to make a... Now that there's no Q-beams, I'm going to get you to make an acuity check. Okay. Challenge level is going to be difficult. It's going to be three because it's a dark and foggy. Oh. Sorry, that's how, you, how do you change the yeah, okay. <laughs> You got Yay, four. Hey, well done. I see stuff. You see, see in a clearing in front of you, <laughs> scared, shaking, a Pikachu. Um, camera? That we can't see <clears> because <throat> we have dice cam. <clears throat> <laughs> Clearly and obviously a Pikachu, <laughs> terrified and shaking, but with four successes on your acuity and a good, well-versed knowledge of Pokemon, you think there's something a little bit odd about this Pikachu. It doesn't look quite uh, like it's got every brick sort of stoked in the oven, whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, it's not a well-made kiln. Just like me. <laughs> Just like Dave. It doesn't have every brick stoked in the oven. I, I can give you a couple of uh, tips on your future cooking. Uh, yeah. Probably don't put bricks in the oven. Yeah. Oh. Clay bricks to bake clay to build a house, I a house of knowledge. That <laughs> oh. clearly didn't you guys know? <laughs> it's, it's a common reference. It's a common reference. Come on, reference. catch yeah. up. So you well, see a very odd-looking Pikachu sitting in front of you. I feel like we should let the podcast listeners know that it's not. It may or may not be a mimic you. Uh, not a not a Pikachu yeah. on the screen right now. <laughs> and it is being poked and prodded by a very cheeky-looking. Ghastly. Oh. So mean. How is it being prodded and poked? Oh, with don't, tongue. Don't oh dear. <laughs> and, just, and just with with like head, just like a it's ball. Like, just it's poof, like poof. Yoshi. <laughs> 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 um. oh. The mimic you looks up at you, yeah. sort of frightened. <laughs> and the <laughs> ghastly. <laughs> 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 Doesn't have hands, but hey. Alright, ghastly. You know, I, I think you, you're having enough fun with us. You probably leave this little guy alone. Come on. And um, it looks at you and its eyes like flash red and aggressive as it like tw gets this narrow look. <laughs> Fangs come down really sharp and it starts <laughs> ominously hovering towards you as you've gotten its attention. <laughs> well, <coughs> that worked. <laughs> Is everything okay up there? I'll let you know. Shortly. <laughs> After this Pokemon battle! Oh, no! We just hear the music. We don't see anything. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> uh oh. Go in ambush. We can't, we can't help you. Uh, uh, uh. It's all fine. Uh, ah! Oh, that's. I don't uh, know. Uh, <laughs> right, so who's. We got Victor. 
Um, Numbush. Numbush City now. Yeah. And what Pokemon is coming out? Numbush. Yeah, he's a yeah. Numbush City Limits. Oh. I'm no. just trying to get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> this evil ghastly. This ghastly evil. ghastly. Thank you. Ha ha ha. That was funny, Jerry. I, I'm sorry. It's very encouraging. It's <laughs> what I have it's to like live a with. Brick in this an is oven. the encouragement I have to live with. All right. Um. Just a quick question about the mechanics. Do you have Pokemon hold items like berries in this, or do you just apply them? Uh. Well, I've allowed it before. You can hand a Pokemon. Yeah, you said it can hold right. stuff. As Numbush goes out because it is already out, I'm going to palm it the Lumberry. Okay. So it'll hold onto a Lumberry. What's Lumberry do? It's Lumberry. Uh, on success removes poison burn paralysis, frozen and sleep. Ah, so it's the f everything one. Yes. Mm, okay. Special. You may commence as you. Uh, it's the first round. The ghastly is not going to move closer to you. Mm hmm. All right, now Bush, let's show show this cheeky scallywag how we do things. And I am going to use leech seed after moving forwards once. Okay. Kick okay. it in the ball. <laughs> wow. Kick it in the ball, did you just say? It's a ball. Sure it it's just in the ball. Oh, there are some metaphysical difficulties with kicking a ghost Pokemon. Because, you know... It's a, it's just a big round ball floating. It sure is. So is Someone your head. Someone tell that man about normal type <laughs> effectiveness against ghosts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ghastly uses Confuse Ray. Oh. Right. I'm going to, uh, while I was doing this, I want to use Pokedex on Gus. You can't, you can't see, see any of this. We're You're on for real. Because they climbed up a ledge on a ladder, so you got nothing. to the end of the remaining rungs of the ladder and use the periscope. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you're, you're on the ground going, ah! My back! Uh, so I got two successes. Oh, there we go. All right. And let's see. Also two. This is a defended. The uh, same. So you are, it is seated, but Ooh. you are confused. Mm. Uh oh. So you are now confused, but it is seated. Yep. What does confusion do? The does not work with confused. Not with confusion. Oh. So, uh, so confusion is, as we enter the next round, you're going to absolutely love this. <laughs> Good. Uh, movement step. Confusion is... Have you made uh, changes to it? Is it still no, large? it's on your sheet. Yep. At the beginning of your turn, before selecting an ability, so the beginning of your turn, before mm -hmm. you move as well, you roll two dice. If both are failures, you can only take a defensive roll, and then you basically damage yourself. Okay. Hmm. That's cool. And on two successes, you're not confused anymore. So right. go for it. Jen. That's cool. <laughs> and it's mechanically cool. So nothing <laughs> happens. So it's on two failures, you attack yourself. On two successes, it goes away. Wow. Yep. Uh, movement. All right. Now, Bush, move forwards and, you know, avoid its attacks. So I'm basically going to defend. Okay, and this is going to shock you to no end. Uh, seated is 50-50, you, you gain a health, or it uh, loses a health? On a failure, yeah. Uh, not oh. this turn. This is the f is a first for everyone. The ghastly... <sighs> it disappears and reappears, but mechanically it moves back. <gasps> so the ghastly has it. The ghastly, the, the ghast, the ghost. <laughs> yeah, the ghost Pokemon have a trait <laughs> called Trickster that says they can move away from other Pokemon. Ooh, yeah, cool. Oh. Yeah. So it's it is it is an ability on the Pokemon. It's not like hey. I've changed the game rules. Hey, do you, do you have a Pokemon? No. <clears throat> Still, you should totally throw a Pokemon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It All is right. going to use hex. Warming up. <laughs> it really is a cheeky little sod. All right, now Bush, keep chasing it down and defend. Uh, hex gets one success. I so it two. does nothing. Yep. Very good. Good. I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> I don't even know what it does in this game, but I don't want to get hit don't by it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next turn, you're moving forward. I sure am. I'm going to try and throw the pokeball up to the ledge. Have you moved you, forward you once before? Yeet a poke. Do you before, know before, yeah. there's a Pokemon battle happening? Did we move it? Uh, yeah, yeah I moved no. once. It's Maybe moved back not. once. So now no, he, we again. said... Uh, um, I don't it. think the music was canon. No, but Victor said that he was in a battle. Specifically, he said there's a Pokemon battle. Okay. Mm. Are you throwing um, a Pokeball up? Before you do, though. Before you do. How mm -hmm. much can Picky Peck hold? A Pokeball. Pecky! 
Okay. You're really smart, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I call me a pregnant one, breathe, but nothing. <laughs> Kabeem, come back and then get Pecky and go, Pecky, give this to Victor. All right, we're going to roll while that's happening because that sort of thing does take time mm. and this is pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to roll for our various effects. So I am not seated again, it doesn't yep. affect me, and your confusion once again doesn't affect yep. you. Uh, you moved a step forward. The Ghastly stayed where it was. The Ghastly is going to use Hex again. Ghastly got three successes. I got four. Ah, yeah. You take no damage. Oh, oh, Next oh, oh, oh. turn. All right. Effect. Mm-hmm. Yes, I move. I think I'm one square away It takes now. one damage. Nice. Ooh, and two fails. It moves towards you this Ooh. turn. So you're so now adjacent. adjacent yeah. However, you now... Yep. Can only make a defensive roll this turn. Your confused Pokemon suffers its own melee damage plus two. Oof. Ooh. What's your melee damage? <clears throat> plus two. Uh, That's brutal. Just no, 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 because it's just no, 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 no. You don't have to pick an attack. It's just what your stat says. So is it zero uh, slash okay. one or something? Ah, oh. uh, it's one slash zero. One slash zero. So your melee is one. So you take three damage. Okay. Because uh, reduced you, by armor. Ah, uh, no. It's just taken as damage. Whoa. Okay. Spooky. Oof. So, but it was seated this turn, but I don't know if you had full health before. I it, did. Okay. Uh, I will say you get the health. You can get yep. the health after the fact. Right. Sequencing. So you can get the seated health. You take two damage total. Uh, okay. Now this turn's attacks, but you can only make a defensive roll. The Ghastly is going to use Lick. Oh. Yep. That's right. I, defensive roll is the only one I could take because I'm still one square. No, you're adjacent. Now it moved oh, towards you okay. as well. <laughs> right. uh, I got two successes. Curses. Uh, two, but defended. So you are not licked, sir. Uh, next round. Excellent. Remain dry. I am not seated. Are you confused? No. You are, but you're, you're still, still confused. confused. It doesn't take effect. Uh, it's going to try and lick you again. Cool. I am going to the Vine Whip. Okie dokie. So licky. Yeah. Oh, I, nice I got four successes. You're just hearing the lick sounds. Oh, I can be able to do no, no. So <laughs> there is a solid <laughs> as you are licked by this Pokemon, which does one damage total, mm-hmm. which means it can't be reduced. So it's just one damage because okay. you can never go to zero in this. Uh, and I roll a dice and on a success, you're paralyzed. You are paralyzed. Oh. Okay. So oh. Numbush <coughs> eats the berry. Yep. The berry is consumed, but you are no longer paralyzed. Nice. Has the has Pecky arrived? And Pecky lands and drops a Pokeball next to you or in your hand or whatever your choice would Just, be. Uh, probably on the ground, like drops it at the feet like a cat. Okay. <laughs> so there is a like, Pokeball at your feet now. Ah. <laughs> As we dive like into the next turn. Another bird. Just <laughs> 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 Why, well, thank you, Becky. <laughs> Very generous of you and Stormy. Ghastly is going to move one step away from you. How dare. Are you going to pursue? I am. Okay, so we won't bother moving them. Uh, do you need to roll uh, confusion, though? Wow, yes, I need to roll really seated. Uh, Still confused. I am seated. You take. You gain a health, and Ooh. I lose health. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Ghastly is going to use Lick. All right. I'm going to use a Vine Rip again. Three successes. Juicy. Right. Ooh, three, yeah, four. Yeah, you hit. Killing it. What damage right. do you do? Uh, three, four total. Four total damage. Eh. Eh. I'm trying to find weaknesses and resistances. Trust, yeah. I am resistant to grass. Yeah, because you're poisoned. So, but I don't have any armor. So I take three damage. Mm. Ha! Nice. All right. Is that- Including the plus one from, so I, I did four damage. Yeah, and it was minus one because it was weak. Yeah, against me. Is there a so way it's three total. You can climb no up armor. there and it like no check armor. out. So it took three. It's okay. You did three after Maybe everything. Maybe if we stack yeah, sorry, on my brain each other, the other way. Yep. I can use my binoculars. Can we? Can we do an anime like three people standing on each other's we, shoulders? We, you can't. You're in too much pain. Yeah. So I'm gonna say it's not worth the interruption because this is very close to finished. Okay. Uh, but we do have to do one thing before you can just take an action. Seated. Mm-hmm. And confused. I'm no longer confused. Hey. Ghastly faints. Sweet. No! 
That's why we had to do it because it's the worst in the game when that happens. You have a status effect and then it's just like. It was too much. No! So well done, numbers. Sad ghastly, <laughs> um... Where did that Mexican band come from? <laughs> ghastly goes, like... <laughs> and then just, like, fades into a cloud of Deflates gas. Deflates like balloon. Mm. A- and you gain an experience. Right. Do I What tier was Ghastly? Three. Three. So I do. You gain one experience. <gasps> I do. I gain an XP. And go yes. to four XP. With my tier four Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> What does, it, what does that mean? What does it? I don't know. You tell me, Mr. DM. In this dark woods Hello. with a pile of people trying to make a... Can you... Okay, now let's see if the man works. We see a works. bright light. Uh, can I... Glowing <laughs> up. I'm going to say... I described it as being pretty high. So I'm going to need I all three of you to succeed a check. Okay. And the challenge level for the check is only going to be two. But you can tell me what you're contributing. So you... But you all need to succeed. Oh. Oh, if I get gosh. Kabeem back out, can Kabeem help to the pile? I'm just going to have to go. like For the purposes of it's not going to affect anything, you just all okay. have to make an ability check. Okay. Re- resistance. You want to pick resistance? I sort of have to. Your highest ability? Well, I don't have many high physical abilities. I can't use acuity. Oh, then I have three reflexes, so agility, reaction. Yeah, re- I think, honestly, reflexes. Sorry, resistance makes the most sense. Well, you can... Is that two or three? Two. Because you want to maximize your... Your competency, right? Yeah, I do. So I mean, you're not going to be able to use charm, but I, I would let you use uh, understanding to like work okay. out how to make the base of the pillar, like right. using your brains to like. I'm, I'm the biggest. I'm going to be on the base. I'm like Melanie helping on top. people know how to stack it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I all right. Do, so I you get three it. dice because it all, it's all either going to live or die on this roll anyway. Okay. <laughs> is, right. You need two successes. Two. Yeah. Oh, Except you only had three dice to roll because you're injured. So you get to take it again, but you only have three dice. Uh-oh. Two. Two. Ah, <laughs> oh, to me. All right. Next up, Melanie, what are you contributing to the man pile? <laughs> um, Different jobs. I'm going to use my reaction. Okay. To try and like balance on top of Brad's shoulders. Fast reactions, yeah. adjust to things. React quickly. I'm going to be pretty loose with this one, so that's cool. It's three dice. You get to use the skill as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Only oh, you're not injured. <laughs> You got one and then roll your skill. What? Two! Yeah. Okay. Stormy, what are you contributing to this? Agility. Agility, let's see you. De- you're on the top, right? Up. Yeah, yeah. Scamps, scamper up like she's climbing a tree. You have so dice. many dice in the check. <laughs> I love it. We still fail. <laughs> At this stage, the pile is like swaying slightly yeah. and you're like climbing over shoulders. Yeah. Three, three success four. four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stormy, you managed to balance out as the three person stack. Brad on like We're hands and knees. Your shoulders. Uh, Stormy at the top. Now, why were you doing this? To, to see if we can reach the top. Stormy can see the top. Can I so, clamber up onto the top? Uh, you can start to clamber up onto the top, but before you do, a bright light shines out of Numbush. <laughs> as Numbush uh, no, starts, wait, up here. starts <laughs> to change. <gasps> it's just two tiny eyes peeking above the cliff. Little guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you yes. then, <laughs> <laughs> so There's a brief moment as this bright light flashes between two states, and then there is a huge final flash that al- alights this release of Pokemon energy, and Numbush disappears from sight, and instead a new Pokemon is standing there. Numbark. Whoa! <laughs> oh, bunny! I can barely see you in the light, but I know you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's Numbark, everyone. I'm gonna mm. give him a hug. Numbark runs over to you and, with a more canine gait, uh, sort of nuzzles into you. Oh. What happened? Brad's Pokemon evolved. Right. I'm, I'm just oh, gonna... That is the first time I've done that. Okay. Right. Episode 17, I would be pretty good. All right. And now, uh, and gonna, you do clamber over. Yeah, I'm going to lean around the side to check on the Mimikyu. And how are you going, little guy? The Mimikyu, like, waddles over to you and looks a bit scared. Uh, make an empathy check. Yeah. Empathy. Three. 
three successes. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of goes up closer to you and sort of like with its fake little Pikachu hand, even though it doesn't have one, it kind of like its side like pushes out as if there's a hand and it like tugs on your uh, leg and kind of leans into you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, and then you see that like around it, it's uh, got this sort of satchel bag that's like a human's bag uh, that's super scuffed. Is this and the Mimikyu? This is the Mimikyu, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's super scuffed and it's got like, it, it's sort of falling apart, it's tattered. Uh, it's it's quite old looking. All right. Well, since it's gotten so close, I'm going to give it like a little, you know, reassuring pat on the head. Like, and how'd you get out here? And with this around you? And I don't know that much about Mimikyu's, but I'm just going to assume it goes... Pika Pika! <laughs> pika Ka! Pikachu! <laughs> that is a weird looking Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> like head bobbling slightly too far on the left Are you and right. Okay, Pikachu? Mimikyu's is so cute and sad. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I could be wrong. Someone in chat can correct me, but I think they just sort of go, me, me, me. That's silly. This one goes pick up, pick up, because <laughs> otherwise you would immediately catch it out as yeah, not being a Pikachu. I don't, I don't think they talk much. I can't can't remember. It's been a hot minute. Pick up, pick up, pick up, Pikachu. Pikachu. This one says Pikachu. Pick up. You made a friend. Pick up, pick up. Yeah. Well, maybe this, they say Q because it sounds like Chew. I don't know. That's cool. I like it. This one says Pikachu. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, the others are still stuck down there. Hello. I say, uh, hey, uh, all right. Arden just watched and did not help with the ladder at all. We'll be right back. Um, I'm just going to... I've helped you. I'm going to help them now. And we'll, we'll all be together. And we'll all be good, right? My spine hurts. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Brad is in need of help. All right, and I'm going to go back and see what I can he do. Had a Brad uh, I have my trusty belt. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say... Uh, okay, what would you like to use? You can give me a check. All right. Well, I think the the first question is, uh, Numbark, can you do anything about this? You want your card, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> You're going to love and hate Numbark. He wants it. Because you complain a lot about not having effective ranged attacks. <laughs> Numbark has no ranged attacks, not even Leech oh. Seed. However... Numbark is also a boss at close combat. And Numbark also has one ability that you guys will find extremely uh, useful. Nice. Nari, you can tell us. Uh, it's something called False Swipe, which uh, does damage, two damage, but this attack can never reduce an opponent's Pokemon's HP below one. Cool. Oh. And it's worth saying that while False Swipe does two damage, Numbark has two uh, damage bonus for close combat. Very so cool. Numbark's actually doing four damage with that False Swipe. That's great. That's nice. And it also has some good abilities as well. Yeah, mm. just quietly, I'm, I'm glad that the uh, fight with Ghastly ended because I only had two Vine Whips left, and after that, it was Tackle. Yeah. Oh, literally Ooh. doesn't work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. You're going to tell me the check you're going to make to help up Brad. And whatever, Brad, your challenge level to get up on your own unassisted. And if you fail this, you guys are going to have to go the long way around. You are not going to get up. So this is consequences. <laughs> your challenge level to get up is four Oof. on your own. That would be the challenge level of anyone unassisted without a ladder. It's four. However, however many successes Victor gets on his check reduces your challenge level. Okay. Nice. So that's how I'm playing this. I'm making right, stuff right. up as I go because so I like I making want, stuff up. I want my role to get up mm-hmm. to be charm because I'm trying to convince I'm, I'm not going to allow charm to work his ass off. To, I'm sorry. To, to, oh, really? I'm not going to allow Bloody, charm. Bloody, Bloody, just reach a little Yeah, further. right. Well, on the, the, the rock just arms come out of the rock and lift you. You've convinced me. <laughs> a uh, Reggie Rock. Oh, just right, gets, right, right, right. Uh, so it has to be a physical ability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, it'll have to yeah. be. Uh, it'll have to just be like resistance or power. Yeah. Like just a. Well, yeah. Well, on my part, uh, between Numbuck and I, I'm going to use my the, the old belt to, to help people grow up, but I'm going to get Numbuck to use uh, Vine Whip mm-hmm. to, to like, assist. Yeah. And what would you like to roll for that? 
uh, engineering, uh, understanding cool. brains, or well, even could I survival convince stuff. Webby to climb up and like web me and then like scooch me up like I'm a little fly. Like, <laughs> You're tiny. If it's strong on. web, you could fix the ladder. And the web is fire. Oh. Yeah, but like cozy it's, warm. It's, fire. it's warm and no, no, no. That was Ignisil. Oh. Webby's fire you've seen once and it lit the ground on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm okay. going to use fitness to like. Fitness, yeah, awesome. Up. All right, make the roll. Fitness plus right. the traders nested in. Please be calm. But roll really well. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Jinxed. Yeah, I've got a lot of dice now. <laughs> uh, two. Two successes. Mm. Now, oh, I'm going to be nice. Uh, Miara, who is one of our channel members and patrons, yeah. uh, has mentioned this twice, so I'm going to interrupt roleplay to say, but Brad got two HP back from the rest last time, not one. Did I? If the if the patrons, if chat is saying it, I'll believe it. It sounds like something generous and lovely I would have done. I believe I remember saying typically you would be restored to one health, but because it's lighthearted and Pokemon, I'm going to give you an extra. Okay, well, that would be very So nice. you're on one health and not injured. <laughs> okay. Your challenge level is two. All right. And we'll you, call... you, let's just say, so I was winded for a few minutes. Yeah, you, you <laughs> landed on your back on the rock. You were temporarily injured. Okay. Ooh, All right. ooh, I wonder if we should... I wonder if we should have a stun. No, that's seriously like a, like a stun, like something that yeah, can yeah. like knock this wind out of your sails for temporary, like yeah, certain like effects, it. like it's the equivalent of exhaustion. for a round or two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I interesting. Like it. We'll play with that. That is cool. That's a good game dev. All right. Uh, <laughs> challenge good level two now. Two challenge level two. All right. Two. Two successes. Yay. All right, Brad manages to clamber up. And Melanie, uh, same thing. Oh, goodness. Nice. Yeah. What was the, what's Thank the check? <laughs> Whatever you would Tris. like to climb the, the hill with. Don't tell me that. Yeah, I believe that, Tris. That, that sounds weird enough. Can I use reaction again? <laughs> Same sort of deal to determine... Because we're climbing up the rock wall, right? Oh, and you want you do something that isn't reaction. No, I want to do... <laughs> <laughs> I use my fitness. Okay. She's it's, so it's all the dejected. same role. <laughs> Is it four dice? Plus, I use four my dice. fitness. <laughs> Challenge level two. Oof. Plottle is too heavy, yeah. my baby Bjorn. Plottle is too heavy Aww. to climb up. I ain't leaving him behind. And all the whips and, and vine whips and ropes really and belts are not enough Plottle to hoist Melanie baby. up. So big baby. Bring baby Plottle home. So. Oh, I'm walking. Who's next what? in the order? Me. Is it Stormy next or is it Brad? I think it's no, me because no, Stormy's it's after. Oh, to, ro- to walk. Yeah. Brad's next. Yeah, because. Mm, mm, no, it is you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm after Brad, Stormy. Brad, Brad wins at battle. He goes, ha ha, and then goes, oh no, now Stormy's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every right. time. The yeah. victory is short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. But what about Melanie? Melanie's stuck down the bottom. No. You can sort of see ahead where like paths will join back up a bit later. What about Arden? Arden? Yeah. Oh, Arden. He's. Being mysterious. Hey, uh. <laughs> 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 hey, Arden, uh, can you uh, put a little a bit of that mysteriousness uh, to helping. You said Arden's not there. Oh. What? Oh. He's an archivist. When you turn around oh, to look for Arden, someone. you don't see him. He's in a tree drawing oh, us. No. Yeah. And then you hear a. <laughs> well, the of We're the gonna be village. lost. They're just gonna take us one at a time. Now, listen here. With that attitude, we're screwed. So we gotta buck up and smile and charge into the darkness like we have a chance. Because at the moment, I'm teetering at the edge of losing my sanity and all hope. We've been trapped on an island for almost a week, and I don't think I'll ever see my loved ones again. That's the spirit, Let's Brad. get out of this place and yeah. let's stop charging. As right, I'll see you up there, Melody. I can see it. We, if you just go straight, we'll meet you there. If, there's like a fork up there. Right as at the middle, the, the crux of your speech, like hands on hips, talking to Stormy, talking to Victor, behind them and over their shoulder, at, right as you're like, and I'm at the edge of my tether, like 20 meters in front of you, this ga- uh, haunter <laughs> materializes and then just goes like... <laughs> with his hands and these big fake tears start crying, going out. That's it! <laughs> and then just disappears. Fire away! <laughs> just away. Funny. You can charge in the direction the haunter was. 
<sighs> Let's keep walking. <laughs> and they all want to <gasps> run off. Yay. And Melanie. It's okay, Plottle. They're just trolls. The movie's little arms. Aww. Plottle just seems pretty content. Plottle seems pretty uh, completely ambivalent to uh, its surroundings. Maybe it just eats some oh. grass. Okay. Well, I'll put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> Start walking. Uh, okay. So... So I'm going like to need parallel to where two is. wild Pokemon encounter checks uh, uh, from Jazza. I'm okay. going to swap Pecky back to Kabeem so we got the light. Okay, cool. All right. Kabeem is leading. Uh, so we need two from Jazza and One four from passes. Melanie. Ooh, Ooh Melanie. Four successes. Two no, four oh, individual rolls. checks. But they're Brad's done separately. Cleared, yep, so, so that's one second one. That's two, you clear. That's three, you clear. Ooh. Hey! Three, four. Cleared it. However, Melanie. Still gets in a Pokemon battle. No, no, that's fine. You, you push on. <laughs> <laughs> you the are, hand disappears like that. You, like, you are mildly uh, assailed and this, but, but by ghouls tricking and ghosts uh, haunting. And as you walk along, there's this like dragging noise as the Mimikyu is like walking along with this bag, just boom, 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 dragging behind it, plodding along. Should we look in the bag? That's a bit rude. That's not our stuff. But maybe someone who was calling help before lost the bag. What bag? The Mimikyu has a. Oh, I actually don't know. It's a Mimikyu. Yeah. The well, Pikachu has a bag. <laughs> the weird looking Pikachu. <laughs> Fairly large, like, like a size of post satchel like, bag. And everybody knows the Pikachus size of a don't human normally head. have bags. <laughs> yes, yeah, the size of a human head. That bag is the size of a human <laughs> head. This place is messed up. I anyway, think well, you're messed did up. The, did the Mimikyu bag. Like, give any indication that it wanted us to look at the. The bag was like it, it was just its affectations. No, it didn't give you any indication. It's just dragging it along and holding onto it. Yeah, no, it's its stuff. You're not even a little bit curious. Sure, sir. Okay. <laughs> That's not my business. Okay. Is the forest <laughs> full of ghost Pokemon, Stormy? You're uh, about this little Mimikyu yeah, bag. Yeah, but one has a bag. Yeah. Doesn't look cute. <laughs> Pikachu! Yeah, that's right. Oh. And it makes weird Pikachu noises. <laughs> and about this time, there's only like the rustling of bushes and trees as Melanie just covered in like the marks of whips, whip vines and trees. He's clearly gone through this arduous journey, just bursts out and rejoins the group. <laughs> Screw this yeah. forest, I want out. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> We're all back together, except Arden. He's still gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. Guide. <laughs> this way, I say, marching right. forward. He's Brad, it. as you walk forward, you see uh, that there is a fork in the path, and there is a, a sign leading in both directions. <laughs> but the sign is like completely worn beyond. Someone it. lost their picnic basket. Mm -hmm. It's Sorry. completely worn beyond any recognition. You can't see any. Sorry. There were words, but they're gone. <laughs> like no checks gonna get. They're gone. Really obliterated. Right. You can see vaguely that there were one scratches, but they're who know, hundreds of years old, maybe mm -hmm. very deteriorated. And there's a there's left and a right path. Um, and on the left, you can sort of see that the, the trees get a little bit wider and more open and it goes downhill a little bit. And on the right, the, the dark trees are sort of bent and curled over and look even more ominous and creepy as the hill heads upwards. And as you stand there looking at the sign, suddenly poof, this pur uh, purple Pokemon materializes right over the sign and then, like, right, just they only stick around for a few seconds. They don't linger in one place mm. for ages. And just one of those little hands does a big flourish and then points at the sign pointing towards the spooky trees and taps that sign a few times <laughs> and then pff, disappears. Oh, it's time for hide and seek round two. <laughs> I like Brad turns around, like, looking like resigned. I'm like, if there's anything I've learned in the last few days, it's that it's always the hard road. And I like just turned and walked directly down the scary path. Okay. You yeah. learned so much at the Lunarium. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm so proud of Brad. <laughs> he Aren't never would have done this that? two weeks ago. No, that's true. <laughs> oh, the key is giving up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, think he's laughing. I don't think he's doing so he's well. <laughs> he's uh, putting out more tears than that haunter did. <laughs> you push onwards. Yeah. Uh, and as you sort of journey and trudge upwards, uh, the road gets tougher. Everything winds deeper, creepier. But you reach a clearing and you see you are distinctly closer to that upward uh, area you were looking at where the, the child was that's been shouting help or shouted help once or twice. Uh, you're like halfway there at least. And as you also get to the clearing, you hear the sound of a pencil scratching uh, in the corner and you look and you see Arden sitting on a rock with his book out. And then he just looks up and he's like, Oh, God, come Whoa, dude. It's not an aerodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, really? That's really just good. The, it's just Brad's eyes playing tricks on it because he's so scared. Yeah, yeah. He sees the narrative. I have a little post traumatic stress. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, just really startled me there. I lost you for a minute there. You lost us. Yeah. We uh, lost you. You, uh, you just sort of kept, like, you just disappeared. Well, I. I was walking with you, you see, and we were going on a, a merry way. And then um, this wonderful path was just so in inviting and this kind Pokemon led me down. And then I turned around and huh, wouldn't I know, apparently I'd somehow phased through a wall because uh, it was blocked to go back. So I just headed on in this direction. What, what I look on? in the di back direction back. Oh, it was a good 20 minute walk ago. Oh, okay. yeah. What Pokemon led you okay. here? Oh, purple one. Mm. Did it look like this? And I do like my best like haunter impression. Uh, no, it looked more like this. Oh. Podcast listeners, I made a funny face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like right. you were trying to poop. Can't be the one we saw then. Well, shall we head uh, directly towards the uh, ominous building and sound of a child crying for help? Woohoo! Oh, goody. Let's go. Sounds like adventure. But. Help. Help. Have you Not seen? And then he points. Uh, <laughs> he, he points down, and he's like, "What he's jotting? You see a couple of these like insects, not Pokemon, actual insects flying like fireflies and landing." He's like, "I think these are an endangered species, and he's, I'm sure of it. I just need to catalog them for a while. So um, you push on. I'll I, catch up with you. I've read things about like bugs on islands that." Just don't let them sting you. Um, okay. Is the mimic you saw with yes. them? What is that? <laughs> it's a weird Pikachu. Pika! Uh, See? So, Ghastly was Pika picking Pika. on it, so that's that, that's what I was fighting up there, and uh -huh. Ghastly's gone now, and looks like the literal guy's tagging on, or perhaps leading us up to Choo. this place. Right. Did you use your Pokedex on it? Oh, <laughs> The, no. The fears really gripped him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's clearly a Pikachu, right? Sorry, I just started well, to I mean, think everything's pointless. So <laughs> it's you know. a Pikachu with a back. I like... Nah. Nonchalantly. Sure, look at its back. Yeah. It does have a back. It does, but this will be This isn't actually a Pikachu. Oh. So you point the Pokedex on it? Yeah. But it's got the little... little, little it little does, hits. doesn't it? <laughs> Pikachu, the electric... Err. Uh, Shop it. A ghost po- Err. Uh, hmm. Mimikyu, the mimic Pokemon. This Pokemon is extremely shy and lives in dark places. It disguises itself as a Pikachu to make it appear more friendly to others. Aww. You really look like under that. Fake exterior. Uh, as 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 Brad says that, the Mimikyu looks super scared Aww. and like really like it pulls away into itself and looks really self conscious. Bad uh, Brad. Oh, sorry, 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 guys, <laughs> really just, sorry. I'm I'm just a little sad and scared, and I'm masking it by being angry. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over and just You're the, one the Mimikyu just for the little masking bit. Pokemon. <laughs> I and getting mad at it. We have a little something in common. <laughs> Does it uh, can you, Brad? Yeah. 
crit fail. The Mimikyu attempts to throw a rock at your Pokeball, uh, your Pokedex. <gasps> to like break it. it just go <gasps> at the poke disc, but you like pull out it's a hey. bad throw Ch-ch-ch. and like glares at the pokedex look it didn't mean anything by it we all have our secrets it's okay i respect that but you're a pikachu Pika- Chew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah pikachu can i bob down next to it and go next time you throw the rock at him not at the pokedex Ch-ch-ch. okay <laughs> and then you see these little like lumps that uh, seem to resemble like you've seen the lumps in the rag that maybe your arms go yeah. up into the cheeks and it's like Chuh! and it's like <laughs> using little fingies to like make it look like there's charge in its <laughs> cheeks <laughs> what a cute um, what's with the bag oh uh, it's, it's Mimikyu's it ha- has a bag do you know what's in it no nope. that's what I said boys they don't like do bags do I as a Pokemon breeder can I tell if this Pokemon has like a preference in who it likes? Like, does it seem to like Victor a lot or Make Stormy? Make, like, an um, insight check of some description. Intuition. Okay. okay. Intuition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you need, need two more. Two more. Given that this is a Mimikyu, say challenge level three. Well, you're yeah. good at that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it doesn't like Brad at all. <laughs> uh, Shock. <laughs> it probably feels different to me. Like, yeah. It's basically indifferent to you because mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't know you. Probably mm-hmm. wary of you, uh, mm-hmm. but it likes um, it likes Victor, mm-hmm. and it's like sort of slightly above neutral to a stormy. Okay. Um, I turn to Victor and say, maybe you should check what's in there because I mean it could belong to someone, and that could be his. Owner, like, what's oh, you're saying there might be clues in there or something. Yeah, what's yeah, that? but I think it trusts you out of all of us. So, Red. just you know, I'm gonna get Play down cool. on my knees. I could be a severed head. Uh, address the little <laughs> I don't trust. Can I have a look in in the bag just to see what's in there, or is that too close for you? It shakes its head. Oh, to say no. what a cutie! That's okay. All right. Okay. And That's then fun. it like cuddles up to the bag. Oh, tighter. Alrighty. That answers that. I think we should call it bag. Oh, so it's, no bag it's like lightly struggling with this bag too. Mm-hmm. Like it's slightly too heavy for yeah. it and it's like dragging it along. All right, well, before I stand up, and say, would you like a lift then? Shakes its head. All right. Like in the negative. All right. That's right. You're a strong little guy. And it starts plodding up, up a hill. I think we should follow it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go, Brad. Scary house time. Let's go. Go, go, go. But it seems like, does it seem like it knows where it's going? Yep. I think maybe Pikachu's leading the way. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm just, just Brad's going with. Surreptitiously following along. <laughs> and it plods up the hill. And as you get to the top. Of- can I, can I, sorry, I just want to yeah. roll understanding to sort of gauge its behavior, how it's going on this path. Is it familiar? Has it been here a lot? You know, how comfortable is it with going to this place or does it seem expectant or resistant or careful or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Use wisdom instead of intelligence though. Cause it's kind of a bit of a mix of like detecting its motivations, but also literally a vibe check. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Understanding uh, wisdom. Yep. Okay, three. Three successes. You get the feeling that it's familiar with this area uh, and it knows where it's going, but you also get the feeling that it has a lot of trepidation about it and it's sort of like not sure of everything. It's kind of a bit nervous in the way it's advancing. Okay, good to know. Is Arden still back sketching? Yeah, he's just looking at Firefly sketching. Mm -hmm. Yep. Brad's weirdly comforted by not being in the lead in this situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, well, you are in the lead, though, still. I know, yep. yeah, but, like... You're the human in the lead. There's something... I think maybe Brad feels... He's the false lead. ...more confident when there's something to observe, like he's studying. You know what I mean? It's this... Being a scientist, scientific mind. You don't like being... He's hiding behind thoughts. analysis in this mm-hmm, situation. Otherwise, mm-hmm. he's just a little... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brad, Fairly. as you get to the top of this clearing, you see an old wooden shack like the one you encountered earlier. And Mimikyu walks up to what looks like a little cat flap in it, but it can't be. Like It just looks like that. And then sort of waddles through, and then the bag like <laughs> pulls through behind it, like cartoon style, is going, and then it goes into the building. 
Is there a There's a door. There's a human door. Okay. I just cautiously open up the door after okay. behind open it. The door. I have to knock before. <clears throat> and you walk in, the room is dark. It's almost pitch black. There's spider webs everywhere. And then the door shuts behind you. <laughs> We're all in the room? No, just you. No. As soon as you walk through the door, oh, slams right. behind you. It's because you didn't knock. <coughs> oh, dear. And you turn around and like a wooden, uh, like a bar of the door just gets <laughs> lodged into place oh. by this hauntar yeah. that turns around and with its two ghost hands, it, point, it like jabs a finger at you and it jabs a thumb at itself and then it cracks its ghost knuckles. <laughs> Uh, a very shaky <laughs> Brad's like, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Okay well I mean are you Pokedex entering yeah. Haunter Okay yeah. Well I'd better get a Pokedex entry for uh, Gosh, Haunter you know how we feel like What we felt like <laughs> <clears throat> Well, you like here in the building. You hear like the ah, like a, the typical the cliche you know, you know, high pitched scream. Yeah, mm-hmm. Exactly. He found a woman. <laughs> Haunter, the gas Pokemon. This frightful, malevolent spirit can glide through walls, appearing wherever it likes. According to rumor, victims of Haunter's lick will wither to death. Cool. <laughs> I like. And it's just the as as the it says head. that, its tongue rolls out of its mouth like an old bit from a cartoon, like a dog, like it rolls out way longer than it should be and then just like <laughs> slurps it back into its mouth. <laughs> and then it lunges towards you. Uh, King Lang, King Lang. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Webby, I choose you. Outside, Get him. Outside leaning on the door, he's like, oh. He's found the haunter. Oh, lucky guy. <laughs> the music hasn't played yet, so he's just talking to it. Yeah. I just yeah. heard the Pokedex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, knocked music. out in one. I think that was <laughs> the haunter. <laughs> oh, now they're in a battle. Okay, yeah. Mm. We have the big boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is that the haunter? <laughs> <laughs> Is that two air horns? <laughs> <laughs> haunter. All right. Haunter! We have a haunter! He's so big! I changed his camera, but I can't tell you what he's sitting out. Do you have my Pokeball? Webby! Uh, Webby, yeah. I do. Here he is. Pew! Cool. Alright. You may have her back. Round one and four steps ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Stormy. Yeah. Right. It's back to you. She's gonna start playing no. match no. with Kabi. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's a bit. He got knocked out. Oh, he's knocked over over in the water. Oh. Uh, so, what are you doing? Movement step. Oh. Uh, Oh, well, trainer, trainer ability step is the first thing. Uh, trainer ability. Mm. Analyze ID abilities. You're analyzing? Analyzing his abilities. Okay, so read, tell us what that does. Uh, on success, GM reveals all abilities and traits of target. Okay, this thing has the trait levitate, which says it ignores ground traps and ground type moves. And it also has trickster, which says it can move away from Pokemon in battle. Uh, It has lick, which you encountered before. Uh, Hex, which you encountered before. But what you didn't know about Hex is that if you have any status conditions on your Pokemon, Hex deals double damage. Uh, And it also has (laughs) spite, which does not do damage. Uh, however, it burns your Pokemon spirit. Ooh, permanently. That's nasty. No, it just get, it burns. It. Well, it gets oh, rid of it, it, so it's yeah. used. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yuck. Are there windows to this little it's shack? No, it's oh, all blackened out. I thought it'd be pretty funny spoopy. if we were just looking the You window. can find some cracks in the wood to poke your eyes through. Well, Stormy okay. is going to be playing catch with Kabim with her Pokemon. <laughs> all right. Uh, Webby <laughs> moves forward. Okie dokie. Three steps away. Haunter moves back and then uses Spite. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can what I, move you would you like to move use? back? Yep. So you can just kite me this whole thing? Yes. <laughs> That's why you want a ghost Pokemon. Uh, so uh, only until range. it reaches the wall. <laughs> you don't have Pokeball, do you? Well, no, because it's being represented as it literally phasing through walls and floating around and yeah. disappearing. But then, like, leave the wall and be outside, right? Just, it's like, the last thing I hate is when other things can do things I can't. That's the one thing that enrages me. So, sorry, can it do something I can't? Yes, it can. Yeah. Do you have Pokeball? 
Uh, no, I don't. Oh. I think we only have the one. Quick, break the window. It's, so FYI, <laughs> it's only free move that doesn't cost spirit is a melee move, though. Yeah. So, so yes, it, it can kite you around, but when it runs out of spirit, it has to get close to you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They're kind of glass cannons. All right. So well, all we can uh, do is try and out Pirates defend. just defending, yeah. You don't have any ranged attacks? Not at that range, no. Glassly cannon. Spite. <laughs> Although it's a haunted. Three it's successes. Okay. Sorry? It's a haunted. All successes. Hey, okay, you, you defend. Oh, if only I was Whoa. doing something useful. <laughs> no, you're burning its spirit. <laughs> you pulled true. the Uno reverse card. Next <laughs> turn. All right, uh, I move closer. It moves back one. And then it uses spite. Three successes. Two successes. You lose two spirit off your Pokemon. Frickin' frick. Oh, so what's yeah. it got? Three. Next turn. I move closer. Right. So does it. That's right. It's lost. It's it's lost at least two. There's one well. step away now. Okay. Okay. It's so big. Haunter is going to use Hex. I feel like we should mm. they, we should let the viewers know that this one is not to scale. Yeah, no. It's yeah. like, it's about 25% <laughs> oversized. And also Ignisilk is its evolved form now. Yeah. It's so, so yeah. Meet closer to the middle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's going to use Hex. <clears throat> Webby is going to use Flame Burst. Yeah. It, oh, so you're now down to two spirit? Mm. Yes. That cost spirit. Yeah. Is there a window we can like watch in? You're peeking through. Hell yeah. yeah. Through some sl- <laughs> holes in slats. Not <laughs> something, nothing not so good as a window. It's like wood. Uh, three successes <laughs> three for me. Three successes for me. Oh, is yours a defended ability? Oh. No, that means you hit each other. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so what does your ability do? Mine does, uh, I do four damage, and if you hit, this attack will also deal one damage to another target adjacent, which doesn't mean. Cool. It's good in double battles, yeah. but uh, it does seem <clears throat> that you have done. Uh, fire damage does regular damage to ghost type. So you just do, so it was a four? Yeah. You do four damage. Does it have defense? Oh, uh, you don't know? Okay. Uh, but it hits you and it does five damage with hex. Are you weak to ghost type moves? I don't think so. I don't think so. You are you are grass fire. So I'm going to say, oh wait, no, you're bug, bug fire. fire. You might be cool. resistant. Risk assistant. Is it resistant to ghost? Oh, good question. It, bug. bug is super effective. I don't know if it's resistant now. Think bug about. is not. Uh, bug defensive properties resists fighting, ground, grass, flying, rock, and fire. Oh, so, okay. no, it's just no, normal it's damage. Just, okay. Five damage. Seven. So, blocking one. This is four. Uh, yeah. So, mm-hmm, three. <laughs> Thanks, Imagine if that was double damage. Next turn. I hope he's going okay in there. But Bug is, but it's weird. Bug doesn't, Bug is not very effective against Ghost. Yeah. But Ghost, uh, Bug isn't weak to Ghost. So it's one of those halfway weird things. Does mm. getting uh, one defense this round, that doesn't affect my attack, but it affects, how does that work? Plus one defense. You gain a defense. <laughs> you gain plus one defense. If you get hit. So you know oh, how you got the shield? Yes, the shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry. My brain just. <laughs> it would reduce the damage you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Yes. <laughs> do you move closer? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I do. What, what move type did you say Hex was? Hex is Ghost. Hex is Ghost. So it's not super effective against Bug, but Bug is weak against Ghost. ghost. Yeah, and that's it's what you did. It's like halfway mm. super effective. It's not, yeah. Su- yeah. Defensively, Bug doesn't resist Ghost. Okay, uh, I'm going to use Protective Strategy. Okay. It's going to use Lick. Okay. Two successes. Four successes. What move did you use? Oh, sorry. Flame burst again. Okay. So you're now in melee range. What's your melee combat damage bonus? Uh, just one again. So So you are you one slash one? Yeah. Okay. So four damage again. First of January. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> the Haunter takes a big <coughs> fire and it like gas burns off it and it looks hurt and annoyed and it sticks some middle fingers up at you. <laughs> um, That's what I can thought. Can you show that on screen? <laughs> and yeah, I'm whatever. like, haunt this. Give him the bird. Uh, and then it goes in for the lick the again. podcast listeners will never Ooh. know. No. <laughs> but we bird, just Peggy met. Just flies out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fire Fang this time around. 
lick. Two successes for me. No, two, uh. oh. <laughs> two for me. So you both hit each other. Or do you want to use a knack again? I want to use a knack and just <coughs> hit you. I've used a knack. Yep. So I got three. Okay. There is a fire fang that bites through this ghost and he dematerializes, then rematerializes. And then you win the Pokemon battle. He looks weakened, puts his hand against his, his chest. <laughs> and all this like red, it doesn't really look like blood. It looks like paint. It comes out of its mouth. It's like, and it falls on the ground. And like pantomimes being extremely dead. Uh, it's tier five. What tier was your Pokemon? Uh, five. So you gain one experience. Okay. Uh, and it pantomimes being dead. And then it poof, turns back up, straightens itself out, and gives you a little bow Ooh. of respect. And then it scratches around its back where you rudely think it's scratching its bum. Hmm. And then it pulls out a five yen coin. <laughs> And hands it to you. Ooh. Oh, okay. I take it and then I go to like reach in my pocket and I'm like, give him, <laughs> give him one of those. <laughs> Better taste of your own medicine. <laughs> How's it going to respond? Battle number two. <laughs> make, make a charm check. Lick. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Looking through the door, I told you Haunter were fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. Four. Four successes. The Haunter grins wide and goes, <laughs> Haunter, Haunter. Oh, and then it goes over to you, like clap your shoulder. It claps your shoulder really, really hard. Uh, can you make a mind? Breaks your brain. Uh, <laughs> I need you to actually roll mind and body. Uh, okay. All right. Challenge level four. Yeah. Didn't even, Are you didn't freaking even move. serious? That's what I rolled. Just behind you. Challenge level four. <laughs> uh, two. And you get knocked to your knees as this massive, like, it's like a dad giving you way too hard a pat on the back, like that vibe. It's not hostile, <laughs> but, and you like get Jeez. knocked to your knees and kind of like, oh, ah. Oh. And then uh, from behind you, you hear this like tumbling sound, like a sack of potatoes hitting the ground that's like really heavy. Yeah. And then you hear a um, paro, 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 and like a scuttling sound. And then Hauntar kneels down and is like, <laughs> puts its hand out to you to like help you up off the ground. And I like hold my hand out. And it firmly grips you yeah. and stands you upright. <sighs> Can we, uh. And it gestures. It go, it's like looking in your face. <laughs> Uh, gesturing. Can, can, my, can my friends come? Ooh, it's like very saying quickly, quickly, and like grab, grabbing you to go its but, way. But my friends. <laughs> Pantomiming, don't worry, don't worry for the podcast listeners. Okay. <laughs> and it wants you to follow. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll just, I'll be back, you guys. All right. All we hear is. <laughs> uh, we can see you. You, you, we you, you guys don't hear anything, and oh. you follow the haunter. Yeah. He's been uh, kidnapped. And. That's you guys, not, this not. is where we're going to wrap up the episode with a lovely cliffhanger. Uh, you guys looking through the slats. With my binoculars. This is what you experienced. <laughs> Brad beat the haunter and then he flipped at the bird and the haunter <laughs> laughed really hard, slapped him on the back and then disappeared. And then Brad just keeled over sideways, collapsed onto the ground, and Ignisilk is running, uh, Pyroweb is running around panicked, like poking Brad, poking Brad, poking oh Brad. Oh my god, he's and dead. And Brad keeps going. <gasps> Brad's just on the ground. Brad's just on he the did ground. The bad finger. <laughs> <laughs> he like separated in my. And the first thing, oh. the first time you notice that something is slightly amiss is when you get to the other side of the house holding Haunter's hand and it phases through the wall and then pulls you through the wall with it. <gasps> and then when. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's Whoa! Brad is dead. Movie. Yeah, yeah Brad, 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 is, Brad is dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this season of Pokemon. Yeah. And Te like hearted first game. character death. <laughs> technically, you we've are. consumed Pokemon. Technically, you are in a people. catatonic state. Uh, yeah. That's fun. Not for the first yeah. time. That's very That's fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you're sold. Yeah. I'm dead. No, no, you're, you're alive. Disembodied. You're disembodied. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. The spirit world. This yeah. did, in fact, happen in an early episode of the Pokemon anime for I, those old I enough to have watched it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I You're remembering remember that episode? This, yeah. yeah. It's really creepy. They, like, pull Ash out of his body, and the end yeah. of the story is basically like, guys, I'm having so much fun, but if you don't put me back in my body, I'm going to die. <laughs> and I don't want to be dead. Yeah, they basically are like, come on, just be dead with us. And then at the end of it, he's kind of like, no, I really don't want to be. And they, <laughs> let, and they let him go back in his body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind. <laughs> All right. I have a feeling Brad's just going to be totally oblivious the whole time. <laughs> I like that. I like that wall. play. Yeah. yeah it's it's like, a bit weird. It's weird. What a weird wall. <laughs> <laughs> this place is super... Supernatural. Yeah, I think there was a recent uh, animation Pokemon did last year. It was like a haunted house full of the ghost Pokemon. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. I love the whole ghost Pokemon. They were my yeah. favorites. Yeah, uh, that's great. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so <laughs> thank much you for, for watching. watching. And of course, thank you so much to RPG Stories for the sponsorship of this video. Thank and you. thank you to our lovely patrons who allow us to make this content and give us advice midway through the episodes, helping out Brad uh, so that he can survive long enough to be discorporated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Thanks everyone. everyone. Bye.